What's up everybody, this is Russell and welcome to today's episode of Marketing Secrets that is in the rain here in Kauai. All right everybody, so I wanna welcome you guys to today's episode of Marketing Secrets. It is raining on me right now. All right, so what I wanted to share with you guys, uh, I've been listening to a whole bunch of cool marketing stuff between like the long drives around the island, all kind of the, the cool stuff we're doing. And uh, the course I was listening to was TJ Rolletter. TJ, if you don't know TJ, he's like one of the legends in our business. Uh, he is a, the, one of the direct mail kings. What's interesting is uh, the course I was listening to is like how to become super rich in the opportunity market. But what's interesting is I was listening to it. If you read the Expert Secrets book, you know, I talk about there's three core things you got to do to build a mass movement, right? Number one, number one, you got to have um, uh, the attractive character, the charismatic leader. Number two, you have to have a future-based cause. Number three, you have to have a new opportunity. What's interesting is as I was listening to this, he was talking about like how to sell opportunities, but like. Basically, if you're doing a mass movement the way we're talking about, like it's always a new opportunity. Like the opportunities, the way he kind of positions them, are like how to get rich, how to make money, how to, like here's the opportunity market as he calls it. But in my mind, every market's the opportunity market. If you look at it through the lens of the Expert Secrets book, then it, it kind of works for all of them, right? Every single opportunity, everything you're selling should be a new opportunity. I mean, in the last 10 years, they've sent out nine, like 9,500 different direct mail campaigns, which is crazy. He says some people will get on his list and they make it between two and three hundred letters in the mail per year, depending on what sequence they take, what offers they say yes to and no to, and all sorts of stuff. What I want to talk about is a couple of the core things that I learned um, from him that I think are really good for all you guys. In fact, the first one's actually not from TJ, it was from a Bill Glazer thing I was listening to. So Bill was uh, partners with Dan Kennedy at Glazer Kennedy, and he was like my my marketing dad for man, five or six years I was in his inner circle this week. Um, Bill was talking about how, like the very beginning of the year, they know they're, they're big things, right? So they did two events a year. They did Info Summit and Super Conference. For me, I do Phone Hacking Live, so like that's my big thing. And they said that they, they categorized all their promotions based on the importance. So number one were their two events, number two was this, number three, and then they had that all mapped out and then they mapped out the entire year, the promotional schedule, the beginning of the year to, to make sure they filled the events. And I was thinking about that, like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not super good at mapping out my promotional calendar and schedule and things like that. I kind of just like, go week by week, month by month and, and do stuff. And what Bill does, he maps it out and then they do everything. And so I started thinking about this, as you guys know if you've been listening to our podcast for any length of time, you know the two magic things that marketers have are urgency and scarcity. So he started doing his, is he would relaunch different courses throughout the year and they'd open them and close them, right? So they can have the urgency and scarcity closed. That's where most of the sales always come in. And I started thinking about that, I'm like, man, I, like right now most of our programs are open all the time, which is good, but the urgency and scarcity is not there. So I was like, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start calendaring it out where twice a year our things are available. So twice a year you can buy our certification program twice a year people can join funnel university twice a year then get fill your funnel twice a year so like all of our core offers are only open two twice during the year and they're closed down other than that which is kind of fun it gives they have urgency and scarcity and build up the hype and the buzz and it gives me each month something to focus on like this month is funnel you month okay and we're going to open it and then close it the next month is this we're going to open it and close it and all content all things can be related back to that first thing i kind of started rethinking through when i was listening to bill glazer talk about how they structured the promotion around their events so that was that's the first cool thing now with tj a couple cool things that he does tj again he's in the business opportunity market uh, mostly through direct mail and so he has fifty thousand letters he mails every single week week in and week out just consistently they know fifty thousand letters go out every single week all for new customer acquisition that's it. And I think for a lot of us, we get in this thing where we have our front end funnels, right? our break even funnels, we're bringing people in, then we have our monetization funnels. I think a lot of us, we create one really good webinar funnel, let's say, and then that becomes our focus and, and that's it. And we're driving traffic and, and but that's like the business, right? And I start thinking about that like, man, he's milling 50,000 new names every single week. Like what's the, what's the equivalent of that for my business? I need to make sure that I have something consistently doing that every single week to one front end offer. And he talked about one of the big things also is like he's not milling two different things or three things to that 50,000. It's like they, they have one offer, the hottest converting one and that's what they drive all their energy all their money all everything and so for us I think all of us we have our hot offer we need to be spending as much as we can to get people into that thing consistently every single week just knowing I spend 50 grand a week or 10 grand a week or a thousand bucks a week whatever it is for you into that front end thing think about this if you break it down there's, there's kind of two sides of this there's or three sides if you depending on how deep you want to get so there's acquisition funnels so getting people in there's ascension funnels so sending them up in, within your 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 membership and then there's monetization funnels but for this argument for today I'm just gonna talk about the two so there's acquisition funnels right so so what is your one acquisition funnel that you can consistently do X with right so for me it might be I need to make sure I sell at least a thousand books a week or I need to spend 10 grand a week or whatever that thing is for you right and like and you just know that and you just get you have to do it consistently like, we have to sell a thousand books a week and we should build a whole team of people that entire goal is to sell a thousand books a week or five thousand books or whatever that number is and so for me what I'm looking at is what I want my focus to be is somebody comes in 
to my world. And then if they come in, then we're taking our core courses and we're opening them and closing them, opening and closing them, opening and closing them throughout the year. So those are our monetization funnels after people come in. That's kind of, it's kind of the game and I'm really excited for it. So that's the game I'm gonna be playing and I hope you guys model that. So those are some fun things I learned and thinking about while I've been here having some fun in Kauai on my 15 year anniversary. So kind of to recap the important things. Number one is focusing on consistently bringing new blood into your business. Then number two is then after they come in, then what's the monetization? So maybe number two is the um, ascension funnel, which is for me, I mean, ignite, ignite your funnel. It takes them through our offers in a chronological order of where I want them to see things, uh, opening and closing on like an evergreen format. And they end that, then we put them into our monetization team, monetization funnels, which would then be taking our core six offers and opening and closing them twice a year. And that's gonna be the business. That gets me really excited. Really, really excited. So that's the game plan, guys. So thanks again for listening. An amazing day. We'll see you guys soon. We'll be back in Boise next week. Back to your normal schedule. I got some cool stuff I want to publish and share with you guys. Appreciate y'all, and we'll see you guys soon.